So in this podcast, I want to talk about uh, what are intra and intermolecular bonds. So it's important that you can explain the difference between these two. Um, they can be confusing sometimes, and you've got to sort of be careful. You've got to be able to look and see whether I'm talking about intra or inter. And the other thing to note is that it's a molecular. So it's really referring to molecules, which are covalent compounds. And the last thing is that we're sort of calling it a force rather than a bond. And I'll talk a little bit about that in this podcast. So hopefully you have heard of or seen examples of intra and inter as prefixes. Intra, in the context of chemistry, means within or inside. So some examples are intravenous, which means within a vein, intramural sports, so sports played within a college, or an intranet, which is a computer network inside an organization. So intra is meaning, in this case, inside the molecule. So intramolecular bonds are bonds that are inside the molecule. Inter is going to mean between. Think of international sports. These are sports games played between different countries. So a intermolecular bond is a bond between different molecules. So if you look at this image here, um, the green circles, they are going around molecules. So, So there are three water molecules in this image. The black bonds, which are inside the molecules, they're between the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms. Those are the intramolecular bonds. Those are the bonds inside the molecule itself. The bonds between the molecules, those are sort of those dashed gray lines, these ones here, those are the intermolecular bonds, the bonds between the molecules. Or really what we're going to call them is forces. We're going to distinguish them intermolecular forces rather than bonds. So let's have a look at these images. We have a water molecule. Well, we have a series of four water molecules. And I want to point out a couple of things. Water is a polar molecule. That means it's got a a charged positive negative end. And the hydrogens, which happen to be these atoms here, are slightly positive. That's what the little funny symbol here, it's Greek lowercase delta, it means slightly, and in this case the hydrogens are both slightly positive, and the oxygen, which is this red molecule here, is slightly negative. So basically with a water molecule you have a negative and positive end to it. And so this slightly negative end of this molecule is attracted to the slightly positive end of the ammonia molecule here. And so that attraction generates this intermolecular force between these two molecules. And so you can see that these molecules are forming these intermolecular forces between them because of their polarity. This last image also shows you a series of water molecules, and you can see that the water molecules have their intramolecular bonds, which are inside the molecules, and then there are the intermolecular bonds between the molecules. And notice, in the case of water, because it's a polar molecule, um, these intermolecular bonds are between the negative oxygen and the slightly positive hydrogen of another molecule. So hopefully that explains um, the difference between intramolecular bonding and intermolecular bonding or forces between molecules.